Hello, this time I will treat Chopin Ballade G minor opus 23 in some technically difficult points. Let's start in bar 36, left hand. First, I'll show you a bad example. If you play with pulled up shoulders and wrist, you will be soon stiff. Sit upright. The better possible way would be to bring the left arm in circular movement. You let the arm fall in swing and continue the circulation. The shoulder is relaxed. Let's look at the right hand. If you keep the wrist in high position, you have no chance to relieve the hand. Try to stay in low position. Don't try to fix your fingers. Instead, each time grip the cord in an elastic way. The wrist is not fixed, but following flexibly the notes. Play together. In bar 106, right hand. Here you find a bad example to play chords. Your hand will be stiff. Instead, you can spread the fingers in sequence and elastic to find a better position. The wrist lands in a low position and the hand will stay flexible. Left hand. Don't try to play from above like this. Your tendons will be overstrained. Instead, follow the chords in circular form, in this case clockwise. Release the hand in between whenever possible. Now I'll play the both hands together. Let's have a look at bar 166. When you play widely spreaded notes, don't keep the hand in a high position, you'll be soon exhausted. Instead, follow the tones in circular form. Close the hand in between to relieve it and again open it. Coda in bar 208, right hand. Don't try to play from above like this. Instead, 
grip the chords in a low position. Use the last joint of the fourth and fifth finger to catch the key. At the repetition, let the hand fall and bound on the keys. Keep the wrist elastic. Such high position is inconvenient. Bring the wrist as low as possible. If you play with the wrist in such a high position, it will strain the arm as well as shoulder. Instead, play in a circular movement. You may play the lower note with a thumb and not with the fifth finger. It makes it easier to come into circulation. I'll play together. So long for this time. I hope to see you again in my next session. Goodbye.